Life is hectic and crazy sometimes. We're bombarded with information, technology, experiences. With just a click of our fingers, we can connect to knowledge. And in a way, that dilutes it. And we can step away from what's within us, the power of the simple things, the power that we were born with. So why were you born a Virgo? Every sign has a secret superpower that can project them into and up along the game of life. This superpower can evolve your soul, transform you and help you reach your dreams. Sadly, we're all born with this mega gremlin of a shadow that can also be very self-destructive and lead us down the snake in the snakes and ladders game of life. So, I'm here to tell you all about what your superpower is. The moment you were born, you were given a unique soul map, which is your astrology. And it all starts with your sun sign. Virgo, you are ruled by Mercury, the planet of communication. And the way it particularly impacts you is you're very, very analytical. You are great. And your superpower is to be able to analyze any situation and actually get to that nub of it, to get to the core of it. But the downside, the shadow side of that is sometimes you can overanalyze until you lose the truth. So how can you best use your superpower? Well, actually, Virgos are far funnier than they appear on paper. People often say of Virgos that they're very serious and they're very uptight. I disagree with that. All the Virgos I've ever met are actually hilarious because they have that quick wit. And also they're you know, very grounded in their wit and they're a pleasure to be around. You, if you're able to, need to harness your ability to see the bigger picture, to take care of any details that need to be taken care of and then move on. Allow Mercury, it's quite a fast moving planet, to carry you forward rather than getting stuck in a loop of either criticizing yourself, criticizing your circumstances, criticizing other people. Your superpower is very creative, far more creative than perhaps you realize. And when you start analyzing the bigger picture, you can achieve your dream. And when it comes to love, you're far more sensual than other people realize. As I've said in my other video, you are the virgin, but the virgin, the term virgin came about from, from women not being tied to a man, being actually quite free spirits. And I think that's the secret superpower that you have. You don't necessarily surrender your power, or indeed you don't have to. You can stand alone, but also share love. And sometimes it's difficult to get out of emotional situations that you feel trapped in because you're always analyzing what the other person's doing. What are they thinking? What are they feeling? And that's a waste of your superpower. If you externalize your analyzing to look at what you have to do each day to achieve your dream, to look at the bigger picture in things, or maybe even to study psychology or to do something where you're channeling that energy for good, that's when you really can conquer the world. And as a lover, you can go to extremes. You can be wild and passionate and intense and have great love in your life. But there are also periods of your life that may be alone and, and internal and thoughtful. Again, it's important not to judge yourself and certainly don't give up on love because love is something that is within your very soul. And you know, it comes around in a cycle. It's about finding balance between the wild you and the kind of quiet you. Life is a merry-go-round. Sometimes it takes us on the wild ride of the roller coaster. Other times it's the Ferris wheel and we feel we're on top of the world. Or we're in the scary ghost train, terrified by events that are occurring. But you know what? Once we know our strengths, our superpowers and our weaknesses, that's when we can enjoy the ride. 
Thank you so much for watching. I would love you to share it if you enjoyed it. And there's an abundance of other videos and articles on my website. If you've subscribed, thank you so much. And of course, I would love you to subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. I send you so much love and I'll speak to you soon.